In this video series, we're going to focus on one of a very fascinating plugin called the Charge.js Drag Data plugin, or also known as the Charge.js plugin Drag Data. And this plugin is very fascinating because with this plugin, you can start to drag elements on a chart. So let's start to create one. So the first thing what I want to hear is, of course, to get our default code, which you can find on Charge.js3.com. Getting started, this specific link here which you can also find in the description box. Scroll down, then just copy this entire chunk of code here. Copy this. And if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste this all in there. And once I paste that in there, I will cut out this title, put the title in here. Paste that in there, save, and there we are. So now we have a bar chart here, but of course we cannot drag yet. So what I want to go now is, or what I want to do now is go to chartjs.org, click here on ecosystem. Here we get the option for every plugin. And so we're going to scroll down here and then eventually we're going to find one. Uh, let's see, it should call the plugins. And then we're looking for the data drag or drag data. There we are. So click on this. And once we click on this, you can see here, we get all the information here. But if I scroll down here, it shows you here a beautiful, beautiful design that I might make eventually as well. But we're going to scroll down here and I'm going to look for the CDN item here. I'm going to copy this here. The CDN here, version 2.2.3. So then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to scroll down here, put it in there. And if I save this right now, refresh, and if I try to drag something, nothing happens yet. So it's not yet activated, or basically it is already activated, but it's not enabled, or at least the event is not being triggered. So that's what we're going to do now. So the first thing what I want to do here is we can say here comma, and I'm going to say data or drag data, drag data, and then what I want to do here is set on true. So we're going to activate this, but of course this still doesn't work really at all, as you can see. So the next thing what I want to do here is within the options, I'm going to put in here an enter, I'm going to say plugins, and then of course we're going to pinpoint this specific plugin, which is called drag data, or at least that's the object name. Once we have this here, we can now start to say what we want to do if we want to drag here. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to say here is on drag start. So basically here with this, we can now trigger the event so say here this is the event and i'm going to do here a uh, function error expression but here i will do nothing but just say console log dot event to show what the event is basically it's the mouse click coordinates on the drag moment or basically on the, uh, not even a mouse click but when we click drag or click hold that is basically the event so if i save this now refresh here it should start to there you are you can see here it starts immediately to trigger and if i refresh here again let's look at this you can see here as i go down i can go here down i can go up but of course you can see there's something happening here. if i go down here we're not anymore to go up to the highest value here but this is the first part here on making it draggable of course there's still so much more we can do next video will cover some more